You are the joy that is set before us, God. Your presence is the joy that is set before us, Lord. And because of that joy, we can endure anything, Lord God. We can persevere, Father. You give us strength when we are weak. You give power to the faint, Lord. You are the everlasting God. Father God, if we did not belong to you, you would not renew our strength, Lord. If we were not your children, we would not experience what the prophet was talking about. But Lord, you show up week after week, day after day, to remind us that though we face difficulty in this life, though there may be hardships, though there may be schedules and tasks that are exhausting us, Lord God, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. Father, I pray that this will be the sign that separates your people. Even from now in the upcoming year, Lord God, that there will be a supernatural strength upon your people. Abba, Father, the first three plagues that you gave to Egypt was just, the first three signs was just Moses mimicking what the Egyptians could already do, Lord God. But Father, after the third plague, you began to do something supernatural. And even the magicians had to say, this is the finger of God. They couldn't duplicate it, Lord God. I pray that you would put a supernatural strength and power upon your people, Lord God. That the world would look at your people and say that this comes from God. Abba, Father, they will see how we handle circumstances and situations. And they will say, this comes from God. They will see a relentless attitude, Lord God. A relentless pursuit of you, Lord, and know that strength comes from you. As we gather tonight, I pray that your word will go forth. Daddy, that what you're speaking from heaven will be heard tonight. That what you're doing, Father God, will be revealed to your children, Lord, and that you would bring alignment to our lives. You will bring alignment, Lord God, to our plans and our schedules, Lord God, as we wait upon you tonight. Let the things below fade, Lord God, in the light of the things that are above. Let the eternal things far outweigh, Lord, the things that we see. In your precious name we pray. And be magnified, O oh Lord, cause you are highly.
magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. You're worthy of our praise, Lord. You're worthy of our praise, Lord. In every season, in every season, in every season, you're worthy. Be magnified, oh Lord. We have made you too small in our eyes, oh Lord. Forgive us, and if we have believed in a lie that you were unable to help us but now oh Lord we see our wrong heal our hearts and show yourself strong again Lord be magnified be lifted up Lord God Almighty as you were magnified before David before Goliath before the armies of Israel and the armies of the Philistines Lord God Almighty the Bible says in 1 Kings 18 that there was no sword in David's hand and yet, he killed Goliath. He killed Goliath without a sword. 
because you were magnified. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you Daddy. We thank you for 2018. Thank you for all the times you were magnified. Lord God Almighty, so we can have the victory. Lord, thank you for all the times, Lord God Almighty. Lord, when we didn't even know or understand. Lord, when you did what only you can do. So that we can be victorious. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful to you. Oh God Almighty, be magnified. As we enter into, Lord, the last hours and the last days, be magnified. Before river of life, be magnified. Before every family, be magnified. In the city, be magnified. In the nation, Lord, be magnified. Lord, we do not need the the the, the armor of Goliath to fight. We do not need the armor of Saul for victory. All we need is that you be lifted up and you be magnified. That's all we want to see. That's all we desire. That's all we seek to see in the days ahead of you. Because we know when you are lifted up, you will draw all men unto yourself. Because when you are magnified, victory will definitely be ours. We bless you, Father. Be magnified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be magnified, oh Lord. Come on, let's praise Him tonight. Put our hands together. Oh, hallelujah. And let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the King rise among us. Let it Come on. 
just let it rise Let the Spirit of the Lord rise from within us Let the Spirit of the Lord rise from within us And let the grace of the Lord rise within us Let it rise Let your enemies be scattered, God. As the chaff is blowing, driven before the wind, let your enemies scatter. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Israel, Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered, oh, let your enemies be scattered, Lord, let those who hate you flee from your presence. Let those who hate you flee from your presence. Father, we want to thank you for 2018. We thank you for how it's been, what it's been, how you've led us. And Father, we declare that in this season, we say let the praises of our King begin to rise from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same Lord we call forth praise we call forth worship we say let the praises of our king let it begin to rise yes all over this city all over the body of Christ in every home in every family father we begin to stir up the spirit of Judah even in that man in that woman in, in that family that is joining us online we begin to invite the songs of the Lord, the praises of our King in the name of Jesus. Father, we come tonight to give you the praise that you are due, the worship that you are due, because you've done so much for us. We see marriages that are being celebrated. We see, Lord, in this year, children being born. Lord, people being promoted. We see you doing things. We see people growing in the Lord. We see people who have not prophesied before beginning to prophesy. We see you mending marriages. We see you touching hearts. We see you touching our city, visiting our nation, manifesting yourself in the nations of, of the earth. And we say, let the songs of the Lord let it rise. Let the praises of our King, let it rise all over this city, all over the body of Christ, in every denomination. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise. Mania musupranze fediganus in the name of Jesus. And we lift up our hands right now in adoration. We lift up our hands in worship for what you did in January, in February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, and now December. Lord, we come to say we love you. We appreciate you. 
we glorify your name we exalt you for keeping us for keeping our sons for keeping our daughters lord for for keeping your people in the name of the lord jesus christ we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration we give you exaltation in the name of jesus lord we bring the high praises unto you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ we worship you we worship you father in Jesus name amen you've done so much for us we can't even tell it all God we can't even tell it all Where do we begin And where would we end Oh Lord You've done so much You've done so much Thank you Lord And I Bless the Lord.
Lord, your praise as the year is running out, oh God, in this dying hour, so oh God, your praises will continue, oh God, in our mouth, in our tabernacle, oh God. Lord, we will praise you, the high praises of the Lord will be upon our lips, oh God. Our Lord God, our soul, we continue to make her boast in you, O oh God. Lord, the humble shall hear and be glad thereof, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. We have come to magnify the Lord. Ah, we say, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Those watching online, I invite you this minute and this hour. We sought him in March. He came through for us. We sought him in April, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, you answered us, oh God. We sought in you, oh God. In May, oh God, you delivered us, oh God. Our Lord God, they that seek you, oh God. Lord, you continually, Lord God, delivered us. For that we lift up our hands. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you. We glorify you. We join the elders. We cast our crowns before you. We join the living creatures and all the hosts of angels. We say, oh Lord, worthy, worthy, worthy are you, oh Lord, to receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, oh God. It belongs to you. Be glorified. Be glorified, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What shall we render unto you? What can we render unto you? I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great.
Let's declare it. Over 2018. Because 
His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods for His mercies endures forever. Let's do it to God. Let's do it together. I will. Um, um, I will read it the verse and then we will do the refrain together. Let's start all over again. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for His mercy endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders mercy endures forever. To Him who by wisdom Firstborn and brought out Israel from amongst them with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm. To him who divided the Red Sea in two and made Israel pass through the midst of it. Of overthrow Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. To so him who led his people through the wilderness. To so him who struck down great kings. And slew famous kings. Sion, king of the Amorites. And gave their land as a heritage for his a heritage to Israel, his servant, who remembered us in our lowly state and rescued us from our enemies, who gives food. Oh, give thanks to the God of heaven for your mercies and your Hallelujah! Amen! Oh Lord, we thank you. Oh Lord, we bless you. Lord, all these and much more you did for us this year. Lord, every one of us can testify that you remembered us in our lowly estate. Lord, that you rescued us this year from our enemies. Many of us can testify to it that you gave us food. Lord, when there was nothing, we thank you. We bless you. We are grateful, O oh God. You have done well in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to quickly take a few prayer points. We're just going to be making declarations and commitments. Um, Hallelujah. Let's get ourselves ready. And the focus tonight is what I call priority God. 
that in 2019, in whatsoever we do, that our priority will be Him. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, God. I will put a full stop there. In the beginning, God.
just want to add to the prayer that our sister Becky prayed. And it's this, that we will be God conscious. In 2019, we will be God conscious because he is Emmanuel. He is with us. He inhabits us. We are his dwelling place and we are carriers of, of this great and mighty God. Therefore, Lord, we cry out, we prophesy that 2019 we will be God conscious in the name of Jesus Christ in every area of our lives. Lord, from our waking moment to the time we go to bed, we will be God conscious. Lord God, as we drive around, as we meet people, as we hold conversation with people on our jobs, Lord, with our family members, Lord God, we will be God conscious in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that indeed, oh God, we will, we will live out the God in us, oh God. You will comfort your glory will burst forth out of us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, touching lives, changing lives, bringing your kingdom here on earth to be done and your will to be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No longer will we compartmentalize our God. No longer, Lord God, will we seek you in the morning and the rest of the day. It's all about us. But no, Lord, 2019, oh God, you are calling us, oh God, that it is a different year. It is a different season. It's a God season. It's a God season. It's a God manifestation. It's a God glory. Yes, glorifying the Lord. Therefore, Lord God, we ask you, oh God, that we, your people, we will know who we are in you and who you are to us. You are our Father. You are our Father. And we are your children. And because we are your children, oh God, we carry your DNA. Lord God, everything about us is about you, oh God. Everything about us is God. That is why in the beginning, God, in the beginning, God, everywhere we go, God, you will be glorified. You will be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. light of you. Lord, that you will be our priority. Amen. Daniel 1.8. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. You know, Paul puts it in another way. In Acts chapter 13, he says, when they were, you know, concerned and telling him, you know, you shouldn't go to Jerusalem. They are going to kill you. He said, what mean you to break my heart? I will go to Jerusalem. Even if it is with chains, I'm ready. I think that's the kind of mindset 
that God wants us to have. Hallelujah. Amen. And Daniel proposed in his heart. Daniel planned before they faced the king. We want to pray and say, God, help us. Give us this kind of mindset that even if we have to, you know, like Esther said, I know it's not according to, to the law, but I will go to the king. If I perish, I perish. It has to be God. His way, his thing, his counsel, his kingdom in the days that we live in. If, if it means we have to give all, then so be it. And that's the kind of thing that he wants. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you because you have given us your everything. You gave us your very best. You gave us your only begotten son. And Lord, we cannot do less but give you our all. Give you everything that we have even received from you. Therefore, Lord, oh God, from today, in 2019, Lord, help us, each and every one of us, that our commitment, Lord, will be to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that as those that have gone, have gone ahead of us, the Daniels, the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Pauls, the John, the Beloved, Father, as many of them proposed in their heart, determined in their heart, made up their mind, they were persuaded and they were convinced. Lord, may that be our experience in the name of Jesus. Amen. May we be that committed, oh God, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your help.
that's the reason for which we will live in 2019. That is the reason, the only reason for which we will live, oh God. Lord, we will not go have measures with you. We will go all the way as individuals, Lord, as a church, oh God, as a city, oh God. We will go all the way. Lord Jesus, take us by the hand. Holy Ghost divine, take us and lead us, oh God, all the way. God's way to the path that he has chosen, the path that he has prepared for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Throughout this year, in this house in particular, and even, you know, when you listen to, you know, um, other ministers teach, you know, it, it's, it's, it's about expecting the supernatural and that God is going to begin to, because we're the end times, God is going to be doing strange things and that we should prepare and expect such supernatural things and moves from God. And so Acts of the Apostles, I'm going to read from Acts of the Apostles chapter 12. And so that has been something that has been going on as we make God our priority this should also be part of it Acts 12 9 so he went out and followed him and he starts um, from 7 and behold an angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the prison and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Guard yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garments and follow me. And so he went out and followed him and did not know what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and the second guard post, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down one street. And immediately the angel departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. So when he had considered this, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose son name was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. Brakola, can you come and lead us in prayer? That as we make God our priority, that we will also have expectations for the supernatural. There's so much in this passage, you know, but we just want that God's people, beginning with us here, that our very wicked moments will be that God will show up and show out. That miracles and the supernatural will not be something that we you know, we think strange that God will truly do strange things in our lives. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we we dare to trust you tonight. Lord, even for greater things in the coming year, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray that you will grant us the capacity to believe you. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Jesus. Father, we. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
to trust. There is nothing ordinary about you. Lord, as believers in you, we are expected to walk in the supernatural. And Lord, this is our outcry tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you will open our eyes of understanding. Yes, Lord. To see you for who you are. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, indeed it is getting noisy out there. Yes. But Father, we, we know that you have given us all the tools needed that we will not be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Lord, you warned ahead of time that there are folks out there who are scheming and ready to deceive. But Lord, beyond all the schemes, Lord, we will see you for who you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the disciples of the old experienced you. Father, we want to experience you even in a greater dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you will help us, oh Lord. Lord, to stay focused on you, just like we have been, we have prayed even earlier tonight, oh Lord, that it will priority you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will be conscious of who you are and who we are in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you will help us not to shortchain ourselves, Lord. We will not put you in a box in this coming year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, you will help us to, to hear the, your voice. Even as the sheep will hear the, the voice of the true shepherd. Thank you, Father Lord. And Lord, even as we trust in you, just like Peter experienced, doors will begin to open on their own accord to the glory of your name. Lord, we know that you are able to do above, exceedingly abundantly above what we can ever think or imagine. And we're asking tonight, oh Lord, that you will do it in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Abba Father, if we have passed up such doors, Abba Father, to go through the doors that we wanted to go through, Lord, carnal doors, carnal strategies, Lord God, I pray that you will forgive us tonight and open up our eyes again to behold. Open our eyes to see the doors you are opening in heaven, Lord God. Daddy, that door that John saw led him to the throne. Father, that door that you opened before him led him to the throne. Father, and in that moment, every need he had was met, Lord, because in your presence is fullness of joy. And there are pleasures at your right hand, Lord God. But Father, forgive us for minimizing you and what you can do. We've asked for an open door, Lord God, financially. We've asked for a financial open door. We've asked for a job opportunity door to be open before us. But we have not asked for an open door to your throne. And your throne is the source, Lord God. From you are all things. You are the source, Lord God. God, I pray that in 2019 that the open door we seek is the one that leads to your throne. The one that will cause us to not only have what we need in this earth, Lord God, but the one that will cause us also to see you. Holy Spirit, open our eyes. Open our eyes, Lord God. Deliver us from every earthly mirage. That we've painted these earthly doors as beautiful painted these earthly opportunities as beautiful but Father you're looking in heaven and you're saying my children have seen nothing yet if they would just look up and see what I have in store for them if they would just see what can flow from my throne Lord you're the one who called him up you said come up come up come up Lord though you are on the earth the things you need are up here Paul told us Lord that we should keep our mind on the things that are above Lord, and in just covering the church tonight in prayer, we say, Lord God, turn our eyes away from the things below. Daddy, we ask that you give us wisdom and strategy for the things below, but turn our eyes to you, O Lord. Turn our eyes again, Lord, to that open door, which is Jesus. That open door that shows the throne of the living God. That open door that shows us again who you are. That open door, Lord God, that provides all our needs. That gives us everything pertaining to life and godliness. Father, some may be saying, well, that's too easy. But Lord God, many times you've shown that your foolishness is wiser than our wisdom, Lord God. And we receive, Lord God, the easy things, Lord, that we've passed up, Lord. We've chased many doors, and you're saying, just chase one. We pursue that this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we also pray for each and every one of us here tonight. Lord, you said the husbandman is the first partaker. Father, for each and every one of us here under the sound of my voice, Lord God Almighty, may we hear that invite, O God, and may we respond to that invite. Lord, John's life was never the same. John John, the beloved, was the one who placed his head in your bosom. He he heard the the beat of your heart as a man. But Lord, when he saw you through that open door, his life was transformed forever. Lord God Almighty, oh God, may we answer that invite. This year, may it not. 2019 may not just be something we have heard. May we may it not just be something we say, but Lord, may it truly be something that we do. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, help us, O God, to come up, to leave everything aside, and answer that invite quickly. In the name of Jesus, the invite the throne room. Lord, that's where we belong. That's where we should be. Because your word says we are placed there with you in Christ Jesus. Lord God Almighty in 2019, may we operate from there. In the name of 
Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we are tired of operating from the earth. That's why we struggle. Lord, I struggled so much this year. In 2019, Lord, I want to operate up from up there. That's where I belong with you. In you. Lord, grant us the grace you granted to John, O God. That when you said, come up here, he came. The Bible says in verse 3, he, and he immediately, he was in the spirit and the door was opened. That will be our experience in 2019. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, 
the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord.